So now we're trying to just walk. That's a good speed. And now what we're trying to do is just get his head down. So he kind of has it tucked in, but he's still tense. So the poles will help us. Yep. Go just a tiny bit faster. Yep. And so if he's not going, that's good, you know, because then we got him quiet enough. But then you might have to use a little bit more calf or heel so he knows to keep going. Yep. And again, these are low fences, so it's not really like a big cross rail. So he can step over it. And if he's trying to pop his head up, you can hold a little bit as he goes over it. Yep. But really good. He's keeping his legs separate and he's paying attention. Yep. So there I just would apply a little pressure a little quicker if you could. Yep. It wasn't bad, but it was just a little delayed and we're trying to make sure he's, you know, understanding when we put um, pressure on him, he's supposed to keep it down. Good. Yep. Good. And you just keep remembering any time you're getting to the fence, you're looking always for the next pole. Yep. Because that'll keep our eyes and our head up, which helps them more with their balance. So that was a good correction. Yep. Yep. So now he's kind of staring down at the trailer. Good. So now let's start adding more speed. Yep. So a little bit more. But as you add more speed, you might have to hold a little bit more to keep his head down. That's good. So now keep that speed. You keep looking for the next pole. Yep, and anytime he lowers it, then you release or tell him he's a good boy. He's watching a volo. <laughs> yep, and you just keep sitting back because that way if he trips, you know, it won't launch us forward. Yep. Good. Bring his head just a little lower if you can. Yep. So as they go around and they figure it out, they always want to slow down as they get to the pole. You're doing a good job. We want to try and keep the same speed as we go over the poles. So this one, he always slows down a little bit at. He looks at it a lot closer. Now. Yes. That's really good with his head and neck. Yep. Good. So the good thing is, as we're going around, he he speeds up when you ask him, but then he's slowing down, which was the opposite of last time you were here. So that's a good thing. But now you're going to have to push a little bit more with your legs. Yep. So ask him for a little bit more speed. That's better. Yep. Now we got to get his head down again. That's it. Good. And then you just keep looking for that next pull. And that helps him also know where he's going. Now stop him, because that was good. Yep, that's okay. Stop, but uh, try to always make sure his head's down before you let go of the rain. Yeah, so that's good with his head. It's down. We just want his neck more relaxed. But it's a good place to start. So again, anytime he reaches down or looks down, you just loosen your rein a little bit or push those hands forward so he knows he can put his head down. Yep, and anytime it comes up, you'll apply pressure. That's a good speed right there. That's perfect. Yep, keep looking for that next pull. Good, that was pretty good over that one that time. Yep, keep going. Good. Yeah, we're getting there. Yep, and if he's not feeling your leg or you're like, I'm pushing on him and he's not going, then sometimes just bringing the leg back a little bit, they'll be a tiny bit more sensitive. Good, and then just keep working on that head. Yep, good. He's doing good. You just keep pushing him. Good. And then bring his head back down. Good. So now I'm going to change it a little bit. So after this cross rail, skip the next pole. Just go around it and then go to the next cross rail and then skip the pole after that. So since he's doing good, he's keeping his legs separate, he's not pacing, we're going to try just using the two cross rails. 
Yep, so you're good, except he has to go faster. <laughs> Can you believe I'm saying that? Yep, now just bring his head down. Now go to this cross rail. Yep. And if he gets pacey or bad, we'll add the other poles back in. But otherwise, we're just going to use these two because they're higher. Bring his head down a little more. Yeah. Keep after it. Now release. Big release because he put his head way down there. Yeah. I know it's hard to steer and get back to the cross rail. So you're good. He just needs more speed. Yeah. And you just keep looking for that next cross rail so you know how to steer him to get there. Yeah. That's better with his head. Good. Yep, he could still be faster, but otherwise you're doing good. That's okay. Good, keep going. Don't let him slow down. You're doing good. So again, if he's not moving off your leg, you can always even push your seat a little bit and kind of drive him with your seat. So good speed. Yep, now back to the poles. It's okay, he's getting a little pacey, but that's okay. Just let the pole help you, or the cross rail, sorry. Yep, keep going. Good, and that was good with your body. So he learned I gotta pick my foot up higher when I'm going faster. Keep going, yep. Keep going. Yep, and then bring his head back down. Keep working on his head, it got a little high. That's okay, just go for the pole, lean back just a little. Just then, so we want to stay back for that cross rail. Good. Good speed over the cross rail. Now keep going. He's slowing down. <laughs> Good. Yep. Lean back a little bit. Yeah. Get a little bend. That's okay. He's just distracted. She's pretty. <laughs> Who wouldn't look? Keep going. Good. Now just go all the way around the poles. So don't go over anything. Just make a big circle around the poles. And just try to keep his head down and keep the speed. And if he gets pacey, then we'll take him back over the poles. Yeah, bring his head down. Now go back towards a pole. Because now he's getting pacey as he got distracted. Yeah, there you're better, but still keep going towards the pole. And then if he stays good, we'll just go around the poles again. That's good. Keep going. You're fine. He's just got to go a little faster and keep his head down. Good. Yep. So the poles are here if we need them. And then if we don't need them, we just go around them. And you can decide, even if I don't say something, you feel like it's getting pacey or a little bumpy, just head for a pole. That's good. You're doing great. Yeah. He's starting to slow down. Yeah. But much better with his head and neck. Yeah, just a little more speed if you can get it. Yeah, then bring his head back down. There you go. Very nice. Now stop him and give him a break. And then he can look at that girl all he wants. Yep. Try. And then just remember, next time, try to get his head down when you stop. until we get his legs more separated. And every time you just kind of get by that round pen that we're facing it, you might have to hold more pressure. Yep, you're doing great. Keep going, buddy. Yeah. Now again, in time, if it once his gates are good, we don't care where his head really is, but right now we're trying to keep it down to help his gates. But once he gets conditioned and you're like, he can do his running walk with his head a little higher, that's totally fine. We're, we're just trying, it's kind of like this is you going to the gym and lifting weights to get to stronger so you can do your sport. 
So we're using all these things to help him to get stronger. But again, if he could gate on a loose rein and his head's there, that would be fine. But right now, if he goes too fast and his head's up, he starts getting pacey. Good. Lower your right hand a little bit. There you go. You can always press it against his neck. He did that right. We just don't want it up too high or otherwise it only kind of controls his head and not his shoulders. Good. That's perfect because I was going to say keep trying to add speed. So he's not doing anything bad. He's just slow and a little distracted. So you keep trying to add more leg. And if he won't go, try and bring that leg back a little bit or kind of squeeze your butt and push towards his. Oop, there we go. <laughs> Whatever you did worked. <laughs> there you go. Good. Now that's a good speed. Yep. And then just lower your right hand. There you go. Yep. But sometimes, once they get more relaxed and I'm doing stuff like this, then you'll see a lot of time. I have a stick, so if they're getting slow, I just kind of wiggle it. So if you were doing a lot of this and he kept getting slower and more relaxed, that's good. But you, then you might have to carry something just to help you to keep him going. There he's a little pacey, so good. Go to the pole. Yep. Good. Now see how it feels as you're going around. And if you're starting to feel like he's doing pretty good, then start skipping poles here and there. Good speed. Yep. Much better with his attention too. Good. And really good with your eyes. You're looking right towards that next pole. Yep. Oh, that, that's okay. You did the right thing. He got over it. So he just got a little lazy and caught his toe. But your balance was so good, you didn't move at all. Yep, lower your right hand a little bit. Good. And sometimes, like, if you get to more one side than the other and not the middle, they, you know, they see a little bit different. So sometimes they don't know they got to lift that foot up. But he's smart. He learned that that time he went over very nicely. Good. That's good. Yep. Lean back a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You almost had it. That's okay. Yep. That, that one, that's all right. That's why we got the pull. So you just go back and try it again. Good job. Yep. But that's okay. Cause again, if he tenses up, then we know he starts swinging those legs. So once you go away from the pole, his head's got to stay down and his back relaxed. Yep. And he's kind of looking at the farmers again. So that's okay. It just means, you know, if you go straight after that, you might have to keep more pressure on the bit to keep his head down. Now he slowed down too much. Good. That's good with your speed. Yeah. Now just keep his attention. Don't let him look at the farmers once you get over this pole. So keep his head down. Yep. Both reins. Yep. So you did good steering and stuff just there. You might have had to put more pressure on both reins at the same time. So he knew to drop his head. That was a really good pull. So as you're getting over this pole, then I would just apply pressure with both reins. Keep his head. Good. So he's nice and relaxed, but he slowed down. That's better. Yep. Good job. You're getting lots of video this time. <laughs> I need to figure out, just keep it on. Lean back a little bit. Good. There you go. Yep. And again, sometimes it's confusing because I'll tell people to tilt forward if they're pacey. But when we're doing poles, it's best to sit back so if they trip, we don't fall over their head. You're good, except he lost his speed. But his head was relaxed and everything. There he's just a little pacey, so look up. Pacey, so look up. Yep. And if he didn't come out of it, then you find a pole. Yep. And just remember your right rein and leg. Keep the hand low. Yep. That's okay. Yep. 
Yep, you're doing good. He's, he's actually getting slower again. Just remember, keep some pressure on the reins as you add your leg or your seat so he doesn't pop his head up. Good. Yep, you're getting it. So there he's just a little tense. That's better. Yep. Now just keep your leg. He was good. He just lost his speed. You know, just remember your outside rein and leg if he's drifting and lean back a little bit. Yeah, and then just a little half up. That's better. That's a better speed because he was going a little faster and more tense and it was going closer to a step pace. Now he slowed down too much though. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, I'm doing good. I'm relaxing. Now I would stop because that was very good. Yep. Stop. Head down. Yep. There you go. Now give him a break. 